So a lot of times what I do is, and I, I need to put up some plants right there in some of these shelves here, but I will take in any kind of um, problem plants and I'll put them in my shower so I can really take care of them. And some of them I'll end up keeping in here. They do really well. I do have, if you see up there, uh, Vivo Sunlight, which is very helpful. And then I got these, um, they basically have like these sticker-like um, back attachments that basically are super strong and they hold the, the shelves. They come in two different sizes. Um, so this one here is a Hoya and um, it's been in here for a little while and I had split this from another plant. It was kind of struggling. Since it's been in here, of course leaves are all dirty, but since it's been in here, it's done a lot better. Um, the favorite ones are in here are probably the Clathias because they just absolutely love the moisture and they can get a lot of water and that's perfectly fine for them. I like to have some of the trailing plants in here as well. Like I said, um, I will put a lot of plants that are really in struggling. Um, I have a couple of spots that are bare right there because I moved some out just recently, uh, but I will replace them. But if you are really thinking about um, doing a shower type plant area um, it's always good to have i have a dehumidifier in the bathroom which helps to kind of balance out and then i actually water the plants a lot of times with that dehumidifier water and then um, of course get your shelves like that and then you can always get a some kind of shower head this one is not one in particular but if you're concerned about hard water you could always see if you have some kind of like house filter system i don't know about that but we are thinking about something like that um, and then also, of course, your Viva Sunlight. Um, you could put a fan if you wanted as well, but our dehumidifier kind of acts secondarily to that um, and also heats up the room when we need it to. So this is just an idea if you're somebody who is thinking about kind of like um, wanting to keep a good eye on your some of the trouble plants or the plants that are having issues. Um, I would also recommend to rotate just your plants. Just today I did that and you can see the back. Sometimes that will happen. The other side is not like that at all, but um, that can happen if you don't rotate. So that's probably the biggest struggle or challenge is sometimes just remembering. And even though they're in the shower, they still need to be watered, um, the ones that are not getting, um, because they can dry out. Even this one was kind of dried out a bit, but I just had to water it today. So just remember that just because it's in the shower, Hour, that it doesn't always necessarily mean it's going to get all the water that it needs. Um, it will get the humidity though. Um, as far as fungal issues, that has not been an issue surprisingly. Um, that may have to do with the dehumidifier, kind of the fan circulation of air that it creates. Um, so yeah, so it's really not, there's not a ton of problems just making sure to rotate the plants uh, and also don't forget to water them, which is something that you wouldn't think in a shower area, uh, but it can happen. You can almost forget because you kind of neglect in that way. I just wanted to show you kind of some of the things that I do in the shower and tell you about a little bit of the issues um, just real quickly. And I will do more of these videos and I'll show you when it's all cleaned up and also just kind of go over some other ideas about having plants in your bathroom.